we're swapping out this gauge cluster. So the first thing you're gonna need is a eight millimeter Allen key. And you got, you got two bolts on the side. I'm taking the first one out. I find it easier to use the ones with the ratchet. That way you don't strip the heads out. And you get leverage. That one. We're gonna loosen the speedometer. This one you gotta take off the whole way with the wrench. It doesn't want to ever spin. There. Throttle cable's loosened. Yeah, throttle cable hook, good. The speedometer cable. Good. Come on, Madison. Come here. I believe these are 10 millimeter, no, 12. Here you go. Damn, this thing's heavy. That's yes. probably a gas nut. Now we got our new one, now we're about to put it in. Oh no, yeah, it actually just got it uh, put in this one. Alright, as 
just going to take the side cover. It's cracked already, so I can loop my wires. You can leave the gas in, though. Yeah, this isn't the best time to do this, but... Alright, now we're gonna... Slide these connectors. Now we're gonna come up under here. Plug your connectors in. This is being a little bitch or something. I might fire it. I'm just trying to make this in. Whoa. That should be good. Alright, we can set it down. Yep. Put these screws back on. That one in the back. Yeah, come on. Alright, now you grab your 12 mil. If you want to adjust your highlights, I might make a video another day about how to adjust them after taking them off. Now I just want to pull my key in to make sure it at least turns on. Of course, I won't be able to see if it actually. I might take it down up and down the road eventually if it when it slows down, just to make sure it functions. Come on, you little fucker! I'm cold. That didn't take long at all. Now, we put the key in. I probably should have put the key in before. What did I do? Oh. I guess I should probably put my seat back on. Let's see what the RPMs work. 